Hey guys, this is DG. Today we will learn what is packet switching. So let's start. The applications like Google Chrome, Skype, Outlook that need internet to function are called network applications. In a network application, the end systems or hosts need to send data to each other over the internet. The data can be an image, audio, video or a text file. Instead of sending the whole file at once, it is divided into small data units at the source and are called packets. These packets then move over a network of packet switches to reach the destination host. Packet switches can be routers or link layer switches. This method of data transmission over a network of packet switches in the form of small data units or packets is called packet switching. Consider two hosts connected to each other via a network router. Host A wants to send an image to host B. So host A divides the image file into three packets each having L bits and starts sending a packet at a rate of R bits per second. Therefore the total time required to transmit L bits or one packet is L by R seconds. So, at the time less than L by R seconds, the router has received only a portion of the first packet P1. By this time, the router cannot forward the received bits of packet P1 to the host B. It first needs to store all bits of the packet before it can begin the packet transmission. It is called store and forward transmission. Let us assume that host A sends a bit to the router at time t equals 0 second. It reaches the router after 3 milliseconds. So the delay in receiving the bits at the router is 3 millisecond. It is called propagation delay. If the propagation delay is 0, then the first bit is available to the router at the same time host A transmits it. In the current case, the host A completes sending the first packet at time L by R seconds. So if the propagation delay is zero, the router receives, store and starts sending the packet P1 to the host B at the same time L by R seconds. Now the router is also transmitting at a rate of R bits per second. Since there are L bits in one packet, so host B receives the packet P1 after additional L by R seconds. Hence, the total end-to-end -end delay in receiving the first packet is 2 L by R seconds. In general, it is n L by R seconds, where n is the number of links. In our case, host A has three packets. At time L by R seconds, the router has received the packet P1 and has started sending it to the host B. At the same time, host A has started sending the packet P2 to the router. So at time 2 L by R seconds, host B receives the first packet P1 and the router receives the second packet P2. At 3 L by R seconds, host B receives the second packet and the router receives the third packet. At last, at 4 L by R seconds, the host B receives the third packet. In general, if there are P packets and N links, the total end-to-end -end delay is N plus P minus 1 into L by R seconds. Along with this store and forward delay, queuing delay and packet loss may occur. Suppose the host A is sending a file to host B via a packet switch. The router is sending data to host B at a transmission rate of 10 Mbps till the host A's transmission rate is less than or equal to 10 Mbps, no queuing will occur. In case host A's transmission rate exceeds 10 Mbps for a moment, the incoming packets have to wait in the buffer present in the router and forms a queue. The time till when the incoming packet waits in the queue before transmission is called queuing delay. Queuing delay can also occur in cases where host A is sending packets to the router but the router is busy in sending packets received from host C. 
the packets received from host A will queue in the buffer till the previous transmission is over. Since the buffer has a finite space, cases may occur where the incoming packet may find the buffer completely filled. In such cases, either the incoming packet or the one present in the buffer is dropped off. It is called packet loss. Till now, we have learned that in packet switching, packet switches receive packets at one communication link and forwards it to another communication link. During this process, it may suffer store and forward delay, queuing delay or packet loss. But how packet switches know to which communication link the incoming packet should be forwarded? Here forwarding tables come into picture. On the internet, every device has a unique address known as IP address. When host A sends a packet to host B, it maintains the IP address of host B in the packet's header. Every router has a forwarding table. It maps the portion of IP address or network address to the router's link interface. When a router receives a packet, it matches the prefix of the packet's destination address with the entries present in the table and forwards the packet to the corresponding outbound link. In the current case, the packet from host A is forwarded to link interface M1. Finally, host B receives the packet. Packet switching occurs in the same way as a person used to go from one place to another if he does not know the route to the destination. Suppose you are in a place named Manali and you want to go to house number 369 BBMB colony Sundanagar. At Manali, you asked a woman for the way to Sundanagar and you reached there. In Sundanagar, you asked a man for the way to BBMB colony. Once you reached there, you asked a boy for house number 369. Finally, you reached your destination. In a network, data packets move in the same way. Replace yourself with a packet, women, man and boy with routers and house with a host. Like you reached your destination with the help of people and the information they have, in computer networks, the packets reach their destination with the help of routers and the forwarding tables they have. But how forwarding tables are updated in the routers? They are updated automatically with the help of routing protocols. So in this way, packet switching used to occur in computer networks. If you have learned something from this video, then please like this video. Share this video so that more people can learn. Subscribe to Tech Terms if you want to learn more and turn the notification icon on. Thanks for watching.